What's going on, people? I've been noticing a trend lately. Oh. Uh, B trying to get me. Um, I've been noticing a trend lately with it with these companies. Um, I look at ads all the time. I shouldn't say all the time, but I look at ads to see what's you know what's going on. And these companies are posting uh, new pay package, new rate increase, blah 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 blah. And now reefer, you know, refrigerated dry van stuff like that. Um, and here's what's going on with that. They're piecing together LTL freight. The The days of one pick, one drop are slowly coming to a close. So now what they're doing is they're making multiple stops, uh, multiple pickups and multiple drops on the truck. And after you get your possible layover pay, after you get your stop pay and all the other accessorable pays, um, that in return will bring your rate per mile up. So that is where the rate, uh, the rate increase is coming from. So not that there's anything wrong with doing LTL freight. Uh, I do it. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's an animal sometimes, but that's, you're, you're looking at more work for, you know, more money. Uh, they won't tell you this up front, you know, they'll, <laughs> they'll keep it hidden until the last minute. And I noticed the same thing on the low boards as well. Or low, not low boards, but the low board. Um, I'm a member of Trucker's Edge. And uh, you get it through OIDA, $35 a month. You need an MC number with permission because they will check. And I will see a load posted and I will call on it. And it's like, well, we got, you know, two pickups over here, then the stop over there, then another stop over here. Then it finalizes like two days from now at 11 o'clock at night. You want me to do all that, tie my truck up for all that time, and you only offering this? And then <coughs> there's one lady. So it wasn't my ideal uh, run. So I threw a number out there. I'm sitting, now I'm on a calculator while she's talking. And I threw her a number out there and it came out to six dollars a mile. And <laughs> this lady, boy, if she could have come through the phone, she was like, oh, you're insulting me with six dollars a mile. And I, I, I don't even get freight for that much. And uh, 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 I, I'm going to get very unprofessional. I'm going to hang up. OK, bye. I didn't want to do the thing anyway. But, you know, if she would have took it, I would have did it. So but <laughs> another thing, these people hypocrites. Now, it's okay for her to, let's say, be able to pay a truck uh, 2500 and still make a profit, but she'll post it up there for 1700 And then she'll get mad at you know, <laughs> people in the know, uh, not that I know everything, people in the know and try to call them on it, and then they, they act like you're the bad guy hypocrites man but that's what's going on with freight they're piecing together a bunch of ltl freight these companies are are doing that um so when you see that load that says you know it's going from point a to point b what they're not telling you is all the little details in between that oh well you got two three stops here and there and a couple pickups so just be on the lookout for that um and uh if you like the content of my videos, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.